Most of us have forgotten that childhood infectious diseases can have a devastating effect because we no longer see them due to our vaccinating our children. For example, measles can cause complications in the eyes, the ears, the lungs and the brain. Whooping cough is an awful disease in young babies and can permanently damage a baby's lungs for the rest of his or her life. And polio can disable a child. A baby is susceptible to these infections if you don't give them their immunizations. So the best possible way to protect your baby against these illnesses is by following the immunization regime exactly as your doctor or health visitor advises. Many parents worry about the pain of the injection. In fact, recent research by AstraZeneca show that nearly half of mums feel anxious about immunizations. That can have quite an effect on parents, with four out of 10 stating that they felt it affected them more than their child. No parent wants to inflict pain on a baby if it's at all possible. It's normal and natural to feel this way, and doing so can make some parents feel ashamed and guilty. Parents should bear in mind, though, that by following the immunization schedule, they're doing the best they can for their child in the long term as well as the short. The pain of an injection is usually over quickly, so parents really have no need to worry. Plus, babies don't remember it, though an older child might. If pain is a real concern, however, there are ways parents can help deal with it. When a child is anxious, it can actually increase the pain they feel. So it's really important to stay calm so your child doesn't pick up on your anxiety. Be in control and well organized. That makes you feel calm. The first thing is to allow yourself plenty of time to prepare in advance and plan the appointment. Rushing makes anything more stressful. If you really are anxious about the pain of the injection, ask your pharmacist for advice. There are different numbing products you can buy that can help lessen the pain of the prick. They usually need to be applied in advance, so it's best to check with your pharmacist. Now, when you take your child into the surgery, act as if it's a normal day. The most important thing is to keep smiling at your child. That makes him or her feel secure. Take favorite toys and books. Keep talking and smiling as you go into the consulting room and talk normally to the nurse as if it's nothing unusual. Sit your baby on your knee and ask the nurse to approach you from behind so your baby doesn't see someone bearing down on them with a needle. Keep eye contact with your baby throughout, talking and smiling. Sing a favorite song while the injection is being done and then lots of kisses and cuddles. Before you know it, it will all be over and your child will be protected. Make sure you give them plenty of kisses and cuddles if they're upset and they'll soon be okay. In the 24 hours afterwards, the injection site can sometimes be a bit sore. So use a baby painkiller if you think you need to. It's so important to remember that by taking your child for immunizations, you're doing the best you can to protect them from childhood infectious diseases. If you're anxious, take advice from someone you trust, your GP, your local pharmacist, practice nurse, a health visitor, for example. They will be up to date with the latest research and science and will be able to answer most queries you have.